Mass X with a new Bleach or Marvel Souls video. Eisen's at five star. Let's go ahead and test him. Let me go ahead and share with you the baselines on him right out of the gate. As you can see for upgrades, level 64 across the board. For promote, just one Awakened Stone across the board. And under the Awakened settings also, everything is just one Awakened. That's one weapon, one clothing, etc. Let's go ahead and his enhancements. He's just at red, no higher. He's at five stars. He's running a War Soul of Wrath and a War Soul of Healing. Neither would be what I would choose to run with him. My guess is um, Eye is going to be very good with him as well as Fury. But with that being said, I still haven't tested him enough, so still got to figure it out. And I put the healing on there to hopefully help keep him alive. With that being said, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do some battles here. Let's go ahead and pick. Let's go ahead and we'll go with. He has a decent team. I think he's about third in our server, maybe more. I just set up a defensive base team too, so you can really just focus on him. Nobody's going to give any major um, offensive output on this team. It's really just. To basically keep him alive so we can see what he can do. You might notice no sound effects are activated. I keep getting mixed comments from people. Some people like them, some people don't, especially when I'm talking a lot. So for this video I went ahead and took them off. But from what I've seen so far he does do pretty well. He's not going to wow you with his offensive output out of the gate, but his skill set is nice. It benefits your team. He does do decent damage. He dispels. He's got a lot of pluses going for him. At the end of the video, I will give you my two cents and if I think you should be pulling for him. See? Not horrible. Over 700,000 there on that frontline attack. And when you look at him compared comparatively, he's, he's definitely up there. But he's not the wow offensive factor you may be looking for. And, you know, all the bells and whistles with AY or the anniversary eyes in or the new Ichigo, you know, they're more, much more flashy. I think this character, though, is going to become quite the toolbox because of what he can do with his <clears throat> to assist with the team. Let's see if this team can survive enough so I can actually get more. Okay, good. We're going to get another Eisen hit. This one should be higher. Yeah, closer to a million, so that's good. I always do like Here's to see... Top search result. I do like to see when characters really do become stronger the farther they go on. And with the fact that he stacks those butterfly wings and some of those skill sets, he should get better as the game goes on. Yeah, there we go. See, each one went higher. That's, that's what you want to see, so that's a good thing with him. Let's do one more of these. See if his performance continues to follow the same suit. Side note there, if you're a free-to-play player or someone that doesn't spend much, and you have that SSR you're reachy and need some more tanking, she really is an undervalued asset. She is just really good on the front line. She's only back line on this one because I just put five defensive based characters in so I didn't really pay much attention to where they were going. Okay, good. 
everybody's still alive. That's always a good thing when you're testing and recording. After this, I'm going to go ahead and do one squad boss run with him. I'm not expecting amazing things, but it's also a good way to go ahead and, and kind of look at his attack because you're going to get multiple attacks and really see what he can do. He's definitely a solid character. I'm really, I'm really, I think his biggest upside is his skill set. Oh good, he's going to hit one more time. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that high since he was only hitting one character. Alrighty, let's go ahead and go hit squad boss here real quickly. We'll do one run on squad boss so you can see the numbers on him. On this one I pulled AY out and put him in the slot so I can still stay in the 2-2-2 formation. So yes, we're not going to see the 200 millions with him. AY is the uh, reigning king of squad boss, to say the least. So, But let's go ahead and see what he can do. This is the same exact team I run, where I got that 258 minus the AY. So at least I'll still be getting my crit advantages and some, and some help with rage. You know, if you're not running Kid Biok yet, I highly recommend it, especially for Squad Boss. I'm dying to see how well he can make a team in Worlds, especially one that's underpowered that's going to get a lot of crit advantage. Oof, that was a horrible Tenza hit. Usually he's into two to three millions. This should allow us to go ahead and get a, a rage from the new Aizen. Yep. Let's see what he does on squad boss first time around. Not bad, 1.6 actually was better than the Tenza hit, which is shocking to me. My Tenza is at rainbow. But part of squad boss is luck. You know, he, he's hitting respectively in Squad Boss, especially since he's nowhere near the power of the other characters, especially my attackers, who are all Rainbow 2. So that is a good sign. Okay, well I can tell you, without AY in here, I'm about 29,000 under my average at this point, but again, that is expected. Replacing about anybody with AY, well, you'll see a, a pretty significant reduction in your squad boss. But that's okay, that's what this is for, testing. Alright, there we go. We get him again, let's see if he goes higher this time, if he's building up with those stacks. He sure is. Now he's over 2 million, so that's good. Hopefully we'll get one more out of him. My 
internet is being pretty inconsistent this morning, which I do not like. I'm hoping after I get some sleep tonight that I can wrap up the War Soul video. I'm really taking my time with it because I want to kill two birds with one stone with that video. Alright, let's hope we get one more out of them. I was hoping we would, but since I don't use Voss Delorde, I usually have the squad boss do a full rage attack on me at least three times. So I should get one more, and hopefully that will allow me to get one more Eisen rage attack off. Yes, good. And as normal, I would always use Nell first to increase damage, so that is going to help him to a certain degree. Let's see how high we can get here. Nah, it wasn't much higher than the last one. Just about 200,000. Let's hope him for a bit more on that third rage. Alright, we'll look at the stats at the very end too. My guess is he's going to place fourth or third. Take a look at his stats here. Okay, Nell clocked in her attack with 17% of the damage. Of course, the new Ichigo was the MVP with 32%. Aizen was at 14, so he was third overall with 21 million. That's that's not shabby, actually. It's, especially when you look at him and you see he's just red, and all my other ones are rainbow two or three. So with that, that's not bad. If once I get him up the rainbow and more equivalently set up to my other characters, he should be clocking in pretty close to those, which is a good sign. All right, so let's get out of this for a second. Let's talk about if you should get him or not, because that's always the burning question for people that are free to play in particular. So should you get him? Without a doubt. Let me tell you why. This is why. The Bonds. If you have Anniversary Aizen, if you have Aizen version 2, if you have the new Ichigo, he bonds with all of them. That is key. So even if you're not going to use him, get him at least to star. Get your Bonds activated. If you're, if you're using any of those characters and using them predominantly, he's, he's a must because of his Bonds. Just there's There's no way around it. I believe even Anniversary Aizen is bonded with him too. Yeah. Y you gotta do it. There's just no way around it. Um, if you're using those characters. Now, if Bond wasn't an issue, would I get him? I think on a scale from 1 to 10, right now I'm giving him a 7.5 to an 8. I haven't done enough testing with him. I love his skill set. I really do. His passive skill um, with the assistance it gives, also the block chance, damage rate, rage recovery. Those are all just, just great things that will help you, especially if a battle goes on to you know, turn three or turn four. So with that, I, I would say I, I would definitely get him. But really even if he was pure junk for the bonds he's worth it just for that i'm gonna go ahead and do some more testing i'll update um if i see anything significant for everybody have a great rest of the day and have a good week please like and subscribe